OK, the hot news in radio is that Steve Wright has finally, it's like the Ravens leaving the Tower of London. <laughs> Steve Wright is no longer going to be a radio two in the afternoon. So clearly this, this event of cataclysmic importance, we had to call in our radio expert. <laughs> and here he is, Trevor Dan. Hello, Trevor. Trevor right. welcome. Hello, Mark and David. Lovely to be here. Is this a, is this a big story in radio? It appears to be. Well, I think it is because there's a kind of fan de siècle um, component to it. He's been there for so long. I mean, people can't remember a time when there wasn't a Steve Wright in the afternoon show on something. Uh, and the fact that he's gone and gone actually, to be fair, in a very gracious way. You know, there's no kind of Dave Lee, Travis, things are going on around here that I cannot support. You know, no, no, he's he, really, he said that it's not his decision, but he's happy with that, which yeah. is the right way to do it, isn't it? Rather than Absolutely. pretend it was his decision. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and more power to him. So what was good about Steve Wright? I mean, clearly, he, he's not a person who gets, um, you know, glowing press, is he? You know, people no. on the outside. Whereas in the world of radio, there's huge respect for, for Steve Wright. What does Steve Wright do? What's well, first it? of all, he's a disc jockey uh, with that parallel. You know, he jockeys the discs. He's brilliant technically, you know, going back to the days of, you know, 45s and all the rest of it. He was the man you could absolutely rely on to keep the transmitter pumping. He's brilliant at hitting the vocal, doing the talk overs. He's just a very uh, accomplished jock um and then and the other thing that he brought to british radio i think was a kind of estuary english sensibility to that boss jock vibe so he took on all the kind of things that he loved about american radio and which we heard through emperor roscoe and tommy vance and he turned it into a rather english thing yes um and uh, the the other thing i would say just to add to that thing about the craft was he was a, not the kind of DJ that would turn up a minute before the show and start. He absolutely worked all day long on it, you know, putting together his little packages and his little scripts and his factoids and whatever it was. You know, he was a, he was as much the producer of the show as the nominal producer. Yes, um, I noticed this on I had a couple of occasions. I was a guest when must have had something to plug. <laughs> and very often you did it the day before, mm. didn't you? You yeah. recorded it the day before. They did it as live, but they were clearly tidy it up quite a lot wouldn't they that's right he hated other people breathing so that's what he basically used to do he would invite you in the day before and then get somebody to chop out all the breaths i really said wow. yeah. but, but, but it's he, he, go on no i was going to say that, that that up until steve wright started that kind of zoo radio format um it, it, the, the kind of currency on radio one was dj's talking to themselves, often about themselves. And so often. actually, whether you liked it or you didn't, it's very tabloid and all that, and it played a lot of Toto and a lot of Lionel Richie in between. But it was a really different approach, wasn't it? Him and his gang, the posse. The posse. And he got that from America, you know, the zoo yeah. format. He, and I think it's right to say that he pioneered that zoo format in the, the UK. I mean, you, we shouldn't forget that he'd, before he came to Radio World, he'd been uh, very successful at Radio Luxembourg, and then he went to... 210 in Reading, where he did a show with Mike Reed, which was naturally enough called Reed, Reed and Wright. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was. Oh, oh, zip up my side. Know, Bates in uh, the States, etc. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and and so yeah, the posse, and and you know, he created all these characters. And I I know, by the way, that one of the things you love on this podcast is record sleeves. So right. may I present? Go on. What have you got? Oh, Young uh, Steve and, and the, the Afternoon, afternoon Boys. Boys. Oh, yes. oh, I'm all right. Yes, I'm all right. And the B-side, Oh, Damien, by Damien oh, yes. and the Social Workers. <laughs> uh, and then uh, later on, we have um, Steve Wright and the Sisters of Soul with Get Some Therapy. Oh, yeah. I mean, God, yes. times have changed. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, how about Steve Wright and the Gay Cavaleros? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, not from this decade. No, uh, not really. Lead character here, Alfonso Di Ponso. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here's Mr. Angry, who was his best character, I think. Uh, oh, yes. This is Mr. Angry with Steve Wright. Uh, he was so angry, he put the phone down. 
Right. There you the go. other great character so, we had was Phil Cornwall, wasn't it? He used to do, uh, come on, as David oh, Bowie, yes. and go, tell me what the time <laughs> is, <laughs> and what about the weather, and all that kind of stuff, which is really, really original at times. When, when, the time. When, uh, when he was announced that he was going, I couldn't help thinking about uh, when, you, when you were producing, Trevor, you were producing Round Table on Radio 1, <laughs> and I stood in a couple of weeks. And in order to, I was there on Friday, and he, Steve Wright was doing the Friday afternoon show on on Radio One, and God knows how many people were listening in those days—an awful lot of people. And you said, "Let's go in there, and then you plug round table." So I go in there, and, and there's live Steve Wright. And Steve Wright just asked me a question, and then walked out of the studio. Oh, that was That's what happened to me. And left me <laughs> on my That's own, it. talking to the nation. He, he did stuff like that, didn't he? That's exactly he it. I, I had to plug, I think I was doing the John Peel show, sitting with John Peel, and John Walters said to me, they want you on the Steve Wright show. He said, good luck. <laughs> I thought, what does that mean, good luck? You know, and exactly the same thing. I went in there and said, I've got Mark in with me, back in a moment, and just left me. And I just, <laughs> I was completely paralysed and just sat there and said, well, I'm on the uh, John Peel show on Monday night at 8 o'clock, whatever. I mean, it's just, you just shivering wreck, really. Well, it was a very Steve Wright thing, you know. He, um, as you as you know, if you ever met him off air, he's 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 not very good at the old um, small talk. Right. You know, he's kind of nerdy, some yeah. might say dysfunctional kind of guy. But when he switches the microphone on, he Absolutely. becomes the great actor. You know, the the motley is put on, and off he goes. But one of the ways in which he can prove to you that he's got the power which is what he wants is to do exactly that. Yes. Uh, th- there was a guy called Dennis McCarthy at BBC Nottingham. He used to do exactly the same. He would just introduce you and then walk off. And it was kind of saying, right, now, kid, you're on your own. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, just remind you who's in charge here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. My show. Because yeah. he is a he is a kind of reminder of the, the kind of golden age of radio, isn't it, really? You know, it's like you say, it's the being in control of the decks and the faders and so forth. And yeah. so much of the technology has changed, hasn't it, in the last... 20, well, he's done years. very well. I mean, let's face it, the three of us have had to manage, uh, you know, the word processor or whatever we call it. Yeah. You know, are you move, moving from vinyl to the old touchscreens and all that has been a challenge that actually a lot of people didn't, you know, didn't Make, take yeah, on and yeah. succeed with. And he did. Uh, and, you know, it'll be, it will be interesting to see what happens now because what these BBC press releases normally say is, oh, I'm not going anywhere. You know, I'm still doing this on digital and yes. I've got this DAB thing and BBC <laughs> sounds and all. And then gradually it all fades away and they end up on boom radio. Um, but I don't know. I, it, I mean, he's got so much energy and, and he has not, not a lot else in his life. This is what he does. So I think he might still be around doing stuff. OK, well, look, Trevor, lovely to talk to you. Pleasure. All the very if best. If you ever want to uh, borrow any of my Steve Wright albums, or we know brilliant. where to call. <laughs> <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs> See you Thank soon. Thank you. See you.